Hey guys, I'm just coming on to show you an updated pantry, fridge, and freezer tour. Still got a little bit of mess, and I just wanted to let you know though. So, um, starting up here, we still have most of the pancake mix and pancake syrup. We don't really eat a lot of pancakes. I use these to make mini donuts for my son, but he hasn't been wanting them recently. Um, we have some candy, the puffed caramel corn, most of the, no, that's not true. Someone ate all that. We have another one. Okay, baby. And some of our frosting and things back there. We still have lots of peanut butter. My son's coming in to grab some stuff. I organized all of my protein bars and powders back here. And these are mostly just some snacks like chips. We have our waffle cones. Um, those will last us quite a while because we don't really eat ice cream cones that often. These are my daughter's pastas. And we have a few fig bars, graham cracker, my son's fruit cups, and some nuts. And then the seaweed cereal. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think of what things are. Uh, my son hasn't been eating a lot of cereal, so we still have a lot of that. And then most of our cans of beans, coconut milk, and some soup. Okay, here's our large pantry. Let's see if having the flash on helps this time. So up here at our chip area, we have some of the chip crackers and our goldfish. I put my oatmeal and granola up there. I've been working on that, so that's getting close to being down. So I'll have some Ritz and Cheez-Its. I bought that big thing of pasta, so I put that in there. We still have a bunch of those. Most of our beans and rice, we have been using those. Here we have a bunch of drinks, sodas. My 16-year-old son is... Whoa, sorry. <laughs> My 16-year-old son is primarily the one who's been drinking the sodas, and he's cutting down to drinking only one can a day. So we don't go through those as fast as we used to. And then we have our almond milk from Costco. That's going to take us quite a while to go through. We do go through the Premier Protein. And we're going to need some more of those probably next week. I might have to go to Costco. My son and I have drank quite a bit of the vitamin waters from Costco. We have my older son's Top Ramen. Some of the stuff for thanksgiving the coke and apple cider for the turkey we have some bags of curry and we're getting a little bit lower on the tomatoes we do have chili these are a bunch of extra condiments and sauces this is kind of baking um extra little pieces some potatoes and the spaghetti squash from my sister's garden. I need to eat those before they go bad. Here we have a bunch of onions. Like I said, we use those quite often. All my huge amount of teas. These are the bottles, some of the bottles that I use for making kombucha, and I haven't done that recently. More baking supplies. Sugar. And here's all of our baking mixes and cookie mixes that we like to have on hand and then i think come back around to the rest of the pastas we have gone down quite a bit on the pastas but like i said we have those this is about two and a half pounds of the pasta and let's see i don't think i've opened the quinoa this is some thanksgiving stuff that we're going to use up these are a bunch of stuffing mixes, and let's see, yeah, I guess that's it in here. Okay, here is the fridge. 
So I've cleared it out because I'm doing a grocery haul today. We have our, you know, condiments, sauces. Uh, I put beers in from the garage for my husband all the time. Our proteins that I put in there to cool down. This is almost gone. We had two of those at the start of this. Um, all the creamers that I bought and some of our juice and milk. This, I believe, is on its last day and I haven't even opened it, which is kind of weird. Need to use that up. Some different breads. The breads here, leftover spaghetti and veggies from last night. And here I just have a few of the yogurts left. And then here we have quite a bit of those limes left. Just three apples, so I'm getting quite a bit of apples today in the haul. We have still a good amount of cheese. This is mostly our cheese drawer. Um, we do put some meats in here for the kids. Like my older son who has to have his pepperoni. Here's where we put the cheddar cheese snacks, and they are all gone. I did fill up on the string cheese, though. So Albertsons has some Tillamook on sale this week. I'm going to get a couple more because that is one trick that I have. Um, so if you can see, this is best by July of next year. We will definitely use it by then. <laughs> so, you can freeze cheese, but it does become a little bit crumbly. So, freezing the shredded cheese seems to work better. And then, let's see, just quickly, some condiments. Nothing really that interesting. Creamer and condiments. Look in the freezer. Now, I don't think I have organized this very much. So... There's still a lot of ice cream, but a lot of these are getting pretty empty. Like I said in a previous video, I've been eating some of those in the evenings for desserts. Kind of down on fries and things. My son hasn't been eating fries very much. I am so sorry about my dog. Like I said, it's just horribly loud in here all the time. My husband has his tacos. He brought those in to be closer to him. Uh, we still have the noodles and that stuff. This is for my son. This feels like he's eating about half of that. Brought the broccoli in from the outside freezer. This is just some fruit and stuff, so really it's not that much. All right, let me show you the big freezer. Okay, here's our big freezer. So one thing is I need to kind of clean up the frost. It's not really that bad, but it should be cleaned up. So we have no meal lunches for my husband. We have two big, uh, big things. We have two hot dogs. And then this is some stuff for Thanksgiving. We have the roasts, and there's some pies back behind there, and the ice cream. This has not been opened. This is a new ice cream. And we have an Alfredo bowl that I guess nobody wants to eat. Some chicken stock that we're going to be giving the dogs with their food. These appetizers, mostly full. I did eat some of them more broccoli we have our big old turkey and then um, that is cauliflower fried rice we have some tortillas and plums I don't know if I showed these last time these are plums from our tree I just um, sliced them into halves and then froze them this is a plant-based ice cream I I didn't really like it, so there's that. I think this is some um, black 
strawberries from my mom's garden. There's also a keto loaf of bread down there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my grocery haul. Hey guys, this is another grocery haul for Walmart. So I think I'm gonna attach this on to my other video. Um, this is about $100 and it does include some um, non-food items. So I bought some salad just to have with our meals. A bunch of different creamers for coffee. Again, I am so sorry. It is so loud in here with the dogs and the kids. I just don't ever have a time where it's not. Um, I got the zero sugar pumpkin pie spice and peppermint mocha. Um, this one is good. I haven't tried this one from International Delight. As I said on my fridge tour, we are completely out of these little cheese snacks. I'm going to fill those up. This was a Ibotta free item, $1.99 off, and it was $1.98, so that was free. I uh, do like um, Swiss cheese. Just Usually I have it just as a snack. The, well, the daughter and husband use these as just kind of quick meals. They all wanted some orange juice, a couple of snack or sorry, a couple of lunch items for my husband. Beef pot roast bowl, beef and broccoli bowl, and a barbecue meal. He likes all of those. Got a bunch of chips for the kids. My youngest likes these. They're like Fritos, but they're super cheap. And they taste just as good, in my opinion, and in his. Takis, my oldest son likes those. And the spicy ruffles. A huge bag of Juanita's tortilla chips. My husband really likes those. And we have them sometimes with beans or something with our dinner. <laughs> we got a good substitution for the raspberries. We had bought six ounces and they gave us 12. And those look pretty good, thankfully. I got a bunch of apples, probably about four, almost five pounds of apples. Some bananas, my son likes those. Apple juice, they don't have apple juice that often, but I just like to keep it on hand. These are for my husband. He does like to drink seltzer water or beer in the evenings. So I find that if I have seltzer water for him, he doesn't have the beer. And he just has about one or two every night. It's kind of healthier um, for him, you know. Or he'll have one or probably one beer. <laughs> anyway, um, these are the non-food items. Maybe the candles aren't fully necessary, but with the dogs, I just find that it kind of makes things nicer and fresher in here, as well as keeping things clean, of course, which is the bleach foam. I love this Kaboom, and I thought I'd try this one. I don't know why, because they're the same ounces and the same price, but I just wanted to try it. My oldest son has agreed to start taking multivitamins, so we went through all the other ones and I had to buy more, and probiotics. So the two little guys, little guys, almost four and 16, will have those. And then lastly, this you probably already saw is a battery for the kids' bathroom scale. So there you go, $100 from Walmart.